Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus Avengers Now statue review. For all your Kotobukiya statues, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so I finally got my uh, Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot shipped recently with uh, the Captain America, and unfortunately I missed out on the Hawkeye that just dropped as well, but um, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the Captain America statue, um, so here's the box art which is the same sort of style as um, the previous Hulk and Black Widow which is pretty nice. Um, so you get the Avengers logo, uh, the group artwork there and the blurb. So you can sort of pause that and have a look if, uh, if you so wish. So some pictures of the statue and there's the artwork on which the statue is based. So um, I think all of the uh, boxes can be put next to each other like the uh, the DC version and uh, build up a, a bit of a, a montage So um, the packaging is pretty stock standard, so I'll um, break it open and uh, give you guys a closer look at the statue So before I put him together, I'll give you guys a quick look at what he looks like straight out of the packaging So similar to Hulk and Black Widow, there is a, a bit of minor assembly um, But nothing too difficult, I think um, so I think you pretty much just slot that into the torso there and put his arms on and that is pretty much it. Not quite sure why they uh, did that with the Avengers now. Um, the, the DC New 52 figures uh, didn't uh, need any assembly at all. So I'm not sure why if it's uh, easier or manufacture or what. But um, everything uh, seems to be uh, slotted in place fairly well. So I'm um, not sure why they couldn't just uh, assemble it in the factory. But... Um, uh, never mind, I'll uh, put it all together and uh, give you guys a closer look. Be back in a sec. Alright, so here he is assembled out of the packaging, and i got to say, this is one awesome statue by Kotobukiya. Um, and probably next to the Hulk, it's uh, my favourite Artifacts Plus uh, statue right now. Uh, far better than their Black Widow release. Um, the way they've done the sculpting on this one is, is pretty awesome, along with the, the paint app as well. Um, just quickly, it comes with the standard Artifacts Plus um, mag magnetic uh, base, and you see the magnets on his feet there. Um, but the best part of this statue is definitely the sculpting. So I'll just give you a closer look there. So I love the the head sculpt is pretty good. I like it, um, and I like that it's got a metallic sheen to the helmet. And I love the wings there. Um, and I guess the, the neck sort of cowl piece there is, is a more matte finish, but um, that's okay. The sculpting on here, I really do like. That sort of harks back to the classic comic, I guess, um, which is really nice. And it extends all the way to the back there. I love the star in the center there. Um, and just the, the little, little um, details in the paint. Um, you know, there's a bit of um, black shadowing and, and weathering on there which is nicely detailed um, different finishes on here so you get the the nice red and white and even the the sculpting and paint app on the the gauntlets here is is pretty awesome so i love the pants very nice classic style and again it's got the nice sort of um black wash to give it a nice sort of weathered old age look to it and the boots have a nice sort of leather look to them as well so overall the sculpting on this one is pretty awesome and I love the the shield so it's a nice metallic sheen and I love the the glistening of the blue there the red does have a slight metallic finish to it as well so that overall is pretty awesome and on the inside you can see some of the detailing there with his hand and fist holding the the piece there so that is really awesome you can get a closer look from the rear here so I love that detail and even the belt nice sort of leather look and paint out um, the arms uh, fit in really nicely, so you can't really tell the seams, they sort of fold right into 
those edges there so that's really nicely done and the, the torso area you can sort of see a tiny gap but um, I've pushed it as far as I can without trying to snap this thing um, but overall um, it looks pretty nicely set I didn't need to use a hairdryer or anything so I'm pretty happy with that and the paint app overall with a different um, metallic and the matte finish and the semi sort of metallic and the white um, even the sort of metallic grey there on the belt buckle it is all pretty damn awesome and uh, I think this still goes for about uh, 45 or 49 US dollars so for the money in this scale um, these statues really are um, an awesome pickup so um, if you're still looking for these uh, definitely get out there um, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store um, and they're probably one of the cheapest places around to get it uh, particularly if you use their pile of loot um, I'll just grab the other two that I've got and uh, give you guys a quick look at the team assembled together just hold on a second alright so here's the team um, set up uh, so far that I've got uh, with Hawkeye, Thor and Iron Man still to come and together they really do look awesome um, I think Kotobuki are really hitting that sweet spot between um, you know detail, paint apps um, sculpting uh, along with the price um, I think the most expensive was obviously Hulk for the size and that was only about 55 US dollars I think at pre-order um, with Black Widow around 45 I think so um, definitely affordable um, and together as a team they're, they're really gonna look awesome um, and even the the Thor and Iron Man figures uh, the statues look pretty damn awesome too and I guess I love these magnetic bases where you can sort of shift them around and, and pose them as you, as you want um, on those uh, magnetic stands. So I think uh, if you've collected the DC line um, and got the Justice League, uh, getting the Avengers to, to complement them is um, going to be a really nice sort of centerpiece in any, any comic collection. So uh, definitely get out there and uh, get a hold of them before um, you know, prices start to, to increase after they, uh, they finish retail. Um, so head on over to Big Bad Toy Store and uh, any other local sort of uh, collectible store you can because um, um, they really are awesome. I hope you guys liked that quick look. Stay tuned for um, my upcoming Hawkeye review if you're into these statues and um, click that subscribe button because I've also got um, a whole bunch of other stuff in my pile of loot that uh, I'll be reviewing over the next couple of days. So I um, hope you can stay tuned. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.